For the last four years, Brexit defined our nation. Twelve months ago, it seemed inconceivable that the issue, like these crowds, would disperse. Stop Brexit! But while protests have ceased, an end-of-year deadline to work out our new relationship with the EU remains in force. This is democracy! Can it really be done without all the shouting? Why is the end-of-year deadline quite so important, given the massive scale of the pandemic crisis that we're facing? The reality is progress has been made and we're confident we can get there. And look, we do face a challenge with coronavirus. There'll be damage to the economy. We want to bounce back. But actually, one of the things we know, that businesses would like some certainty of know, knowing that this has been concluded. I think the country wants some certainty. And we were elected on that basis. <laughs> The familiar sticking points, fishing, the Northern Ireland border and whether or not to follow some EU rules haven't gone away. And today we also began trade talks in parallel with the US who want British access for their agricultural sector. It's inconceivable that UK would have more bargaining power with the United States than, for instance, the EU would have had. From number 10's point of view, maybe it's just easier to do the negotiations like this without the shouting and the protests and the breathless focus on every dot and comma. Think of the disruption that we were so worried about just a few months ago. What does that even look like in a world where nothing is normal? Brexit was meant to be the biggest one-off change since the Second World War and then something else got there first. The EU negotiations may be somewhat easier when they're not centre stage for the media and there's less sort of obsessive focus on every statement and every development. Talks by phone and video link rather than face to face. Given Brexit is a form of social distancing from Europe, maybe it is the most appropriate way forward for now. Sam Coates, Sky News.